this. This is why we're here. Dearest you, oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. Some call them impossible colours. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering coloured shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be.
Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple, a colour beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colours. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me. Do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real.